last unicorn. From what I hear, this movie was a cornerstone of a lot of childhoods. I, however, only discovered this movie about three years ago, and only first watched it about a month ago. So what's the story? The Last Unicorn, played by Mia Farrow, starts to wonder if she truly is the last. Along her adventure, she befriends a wizard named Schmendrick, played by Jeff Bridges, and the wife of a band of thieves named Molly. Together they discover the unicorns were cast to the ends of the earth by the Red Bull. Not that one, of course, obviously. The Red Bull is a pet of King Haggard, played by Christopher Lee. Are there any unicorns left? And will they succeed in finding any if there are? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. All in all, I would say this was an excellent movie. I feel the animation is a little choppy at times, but it's definitely made up for by the story. The music is done by one of my favorite bands, America. While there are a lot of great tunes, I would say the very first one they play is the best. Without giving too much away, I would say the ending is kind of bittersweet. But once again, I love you be the judge of that. If there was one thing I'd have to say I hate about this movie, it would have to be the butterfly. Sure, he eventually tells the story of the Red Bull, but... Ugh, he just goes on and on, saying nothing at all. And, on top of that, wasting a lot of the animation budget, probably. It's also weird to mention that this was directed by Rankins and Bass. If those names sound familiar to you, they've done a lot of classic Christmas specials, such as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Frosty the Snowman. I will mention there is probably a reason you haven't heard of this movie. It's kind of hard to find. Personally, I still have a VHS player, so playing tapes isn't too difficult. But in the age of DVD and Blu-ray, there haven't been too many releases. As far as I remember, there was a 25th anniversary edition that came out. But it's weird to note that they actually censored some of the swear words. Yeah, it's a rated G kids film that has swearing. I bet you're probably thinking that I'm a brony, and that's probably what magnetized me towards this masterpiece, but actually it was the band America. I kind of thought maybe this movie was going to be like a whole bunch of songs that they did, and it was going to be like a happy, witty story. I was pleasantly surprised to see I was wrong. Good animation, great songs, and even better storytelling. I feel like this movie has it all. If you ever get a chance to find it, it's worth a watch.